Hello, today we are going to talk about OCL and Redshift and how to randomize texture tile and using it. But first things first, what is OCL at all? According to the official guide, Open Shading Language OCL is a small but rich language for programmable shading in advanced renderers and other applications. Ideal for describing materials, lights, displacement and pattern generation. OCL has syntax similar to C as well as other shading languages. However, it's specifically designed for advanced rendering algorithm. Sounds pretty complex, right? Sure it is, but there are plenty of pre-made stuff we can use in our work. Navigate to the GitHub page, link in the description. Copy code and go to the Cinema 4D. Open Cinema 4D. Create plane and make it 5K by 5K. Increase segments count to around 100. Make it editable. We need to create UV for our geometry as long as OCL works only with UV map. Select UV W tag and go to the UV edit tab. For convenience and better visual representation you can enable UV grid texture. Press automatic UV or choose cubic algorithm. Both will work mostly same. Rename our first UV. We will create two more copies. Duplicate UV and rename it. Select all polygons and click UV Transform tool. Go to Transform tab and scale it three times bigger. Repeat the process, but scale it five times bigger for another UV. Create standard redshift material and apply it. Go inside Node Editor. Search for the OCL node connected to color input. Just paste our code in the field and press Enter for compile. Now we have our custom node, with custom parameters. I prepared textures from Megascans library. Import the albedo for now. Copy pass and paste it to the OCL node texture pass. We need to decrease gamma of our image to 0.4545 to make it look right. Search for color correct node and place it after OCL shader. Let's dive into parameters. The way it works, it uses noise to break up pattern. Try switching UVs, which will result in overall scale of the texture. Rotate, rescale and seed are quite self-explanatory. Usually I use 180 degrees, which is a maximum amount. But to better understand gradient scale of setting level you should switch to debug mode to view noise itself. Experiment a little with the settings to get the best result. Also you can increase gradient scale from 0 to 25 maximum. Basically, you should treat it as a regular noise. If you need more details, you increase octaves, or in our case, level. It's more like a general guideline. Those settings are quite simple, so just roll with the settings which are the best in your current situation. To sum up, it's a great alternative to the Tray Planner pipeline, and especially great for landscapes, for example. Goodbye and see you soon.